Hello and welcome back to Two Cakes Vivarium. This is episode 17. Today we are going to be gathering up a bunch of resources. Because I'm going to need a bunch more stone, I think. Okay, that's kind of a lie. I know I'm going to need a bunch more stone. And while I'm at it, possibly I'll find some minerals, metals good things like that no i know i could go to spawn and go to the public mines and actually i probably should visit spawn because i guess something's been changed at spawn i don't know for sure what which is why i probably should go there and find out what has changed but i think it would be kind of nice to have my own mine that's right next to my base Though, of course, I'm not planning on protecting this at all. So this would pretty much be open, fair game for anyone and everyone. Which, eh, I don't know. I don't see this being a huge issue. Of course, then again, maybe it would be. I don't know. Um... Well, why is there a bear in the water? That's silly. I do usually like to use caves, though, as a start of a mine. What do we have here? Ooh. Ooh, no, this looks promising. I feel like this is holding out water. No, it's not. Okay. Look at this. Oh, someone put some... Okay, I have a feeling somebody started a mine here. Either that or one of those, uh, I forget what they're called. One of those critters that eat stone came through and ate a bunch of stone out of here. Now, where is this water coming from? Okay, a giant opening there. And an opening there. Do I have something I could use to block that off? I do have dirt. Let's go ahead and do that. There's nothing I hate more than having a good mine ruined because it filled with water. Okay, and I think I can probably block it off like this. And that. Okay, and I think, honestly, somebody had already kind of done that with this wall here. So, I have a feeling this is somebody's mine. Uh, tough luck, person. I don't know. This is pretty close to where I'm building. And I haven't seen anybody. But, of course, I'm not on 24-7. So it's entirely possible that somebody has been playing. And it just hasn't been while I've been online. Completely possible. And this is kind of disappointing because it doesn't even go anywhere like I had hoped it would well I'll keep going till I get 99 cobble and then we'll take a trip to spawn and see what's going on in spawn on the uh, the message of the day I don't even think this was really called but when you log in you get that little pop-up screen um, and it said that stuff's been changed at spawn. Ooh, a cave. Beautiful. I think that's silver. That, I think, is tin. Something up on the roof. It's good. Some gravel there. It's fine. That looks like it's all closed off. That's an opening to some place. This is a big drop off. So theoretically, this should be relatively safe right here from any monsters, as long as nothing spawns at this light level. Okay, I do kind of want to get up there just to see what's here. Um, okay, nothing. That's fine. I'll rip out these resources, and then we will head to spawn. 
and we'll come back at another point and explore that lower portion. But I do want to see what changed in spawn. And then we might just go ahead and visit the public mines. Because, well, resources. Um, that was the wrong way around, but it worked. Or did I just seen a, there it is. Whoa, little zombie. And I have no idea how I got here. There we go. Oh, little zombie's down in there. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, he can't get to me. I am fairly certain of that. Let's hop out of here. And actually, I didn't even know I'm bothering to do that. We can just do this. Ta-da! Okay, let's see. Dead people stuff. Really? Eh, boring. Okay, I don't really notice. This looks the same to me. Wee, wee, wee. Love my crystal boots. Okay, I don't. There's a world map. Okay. Ooh, the shops have changed. Vending machine. You need 20 coins to buy that. Yipes, 20 coins. I don't even know how you get coins. Um, yay? Alright, well, I don't really know what changed here. Buildings, no. Public mines. Yep. Let's go to negative 500. I have been here before. However, I see some iron over there. How am I going to get there? That's always the trick. Navigating around. And doing it safely, of course. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Except it's a little out of reach. Well, that's not beautiful. I can't reach it. Aha. Now we can. It's even better. Okay. Because I do need the steel to make more protection blocks. Do I need more protection blocks? You know, honestly, I don't even know. I know I had a whole bunch gifted to me. Whoa. That's a big drop. Oh, hey. There's the lava. Um... Let's go this way. I can tell somebody else has been this way because there's a bunch of cobble all over the place. Whoa, an anvil. Owned by Wendy. She didn't leave her hammer in it. Which I don't blame her for not doing. Somebody would have stolen it. I wouldn't have. I would never do that. But somebody else would have. Unfortunately. Wow, what is this? Like someone just made a giant hole. I don't even know how they did that and then got out. Um, little stairway going down. Well, let's take that. Whoa. Let's actually take the stair. It's probably safer than falling. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I'm just a rat. Here I thought it was something scary. And it turns out to be a rat. An empty furnace. Do I need a furnace for anything? No, not particularly. Whoa, what is this? I see a bunch of iron. Um, wow. Tons of iron. What is this? It's a trap. I can feel it. I can feel it's a trap. I can't feel if it's a trap or not. I'm kidding. Wow, lots of iron. Tons of iron. Okay, this is just weird. Like, it's a perfect path going through. Lit with torches. Did somebody just go through and make a giant underground network here? And be like, oh, hey, I'm not going to take any of the resources I'm 
making visible. That doesn't make sense to me. Why would you? Ooh, you know what? I need some obsidian too, actually. Um. Mm, how do I get down there? Whoa. I just seen a... A watchmahizzy. Not today, buddy. Not today. Um... What is this yellow stuff? Okay, I don't think he followed me. I don't see him. So I'm assuming he didn't. Oh, a lava slime! Cool. Um... What do I want to do? I want to harvest obsidian. Oh, this takes so long. Okay. Yeah, because I need to make more obsidian glass. Because it is imperative that I have clear glass for my, um, for the front windows on the cages. So, yep. Gonna have to harvest some of this stuff up. Man, this takes forever. Need a better pickaxe to do this. Oh, great. And it broke. Stone will not work. What should I get? Seven? That gives me 63 shards. That's gonna have to work for right now. Let me take a quick peek actually in here. It's empty. Okay, I don't know why I'm carrying around an empty backpack. That seems kind of pointless to me. Should I pick up lava? There's probably no point in doing that. What do I have as far as iron goes? 27 iron? Yeah, that should be fine. We're gonna go home. If I could type. Ba boom, ba boom. Alright, let's go throw this stuff in the cookery. And by cookery, I mean furnace. In case you hadn't figured that one out. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go harvest the garden too. Friendly? Um, passive at least. Get this replanted. Need. I think you use this for cows and horses. I think both. Really not 100% sure. But of course, I can also turn them into bread and cook it for my own consumption. Which is great because don't really want to starve to death. Carrots. I love carrots. These are like the best thing ever. Oh wait, why am I doing... I can just go to this. Pick these guys. They give you so many more. Like, I think you get a random drop between like 2 and 6 carrots. Which is just outstanding. Like, I got 78 from a plot of... What is this, 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 24. So I pretty much tripled my number of carrots, which is a super good yield. And then raspberries, I forget what you get for these guys, but it's pretty close. It's insane. I've got tons of these things sitting around. I don't even know what I use raspberries for. I know I can eat them, but can I tame any animals with raspberries? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 64. So not as good of a yield as the carrots. But still, that is a good yield. For something that literally takes no work. That is a great turnover. And you know, I've been meaning to put... Oh wait, yeah, I have to close. There we go. Already well. Uh, we got materials harvested. I really want to do that underground viewing area. This guy's gonna come and try to attack me. Wait, how? What? How did you get out of the water? You weirdo. Well. Uh -huh. I mean, shh. man, I'll take that. Okay, well. 
think it is time to wrap this episode up. Just deposit my food in there. So much food. I love it. Bread mushrooms. <sighs> Technically, it's not really safe to eat. It's poisonous. And it will pretty much kill you. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Ooh, tentacle. That's food. Um, Obsidian shards. I'll put those in with the obsidian glass, I guess. Because why not? Um, ba -ba. That all looks good to me. Oh yeah, I got tons of protection blocks yet, so I don't necessarily need to even turn this stuff into protection blocks. Oh, I got a whole bunch of iron already. Copper tin, gold, silver, gold coins, bronze. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa, whoa, let's take a peek at this turtle. What was he just doing? He's acting pretty normal now. Could have sworn I just see him jump like super high. Don't think that was Mr. Cow here. Hey, cow. Hey, 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 hey. Go back in. In. There you go. You silly cow. Oh, no. There you go. I'm stuck. Unstuck. Stuck. Unstuck. Okay. So... This area here is going to become a viewing area. That's going to become a viewing area. And the cages will extend out that way, then around, then this way. There'll be an opening over there, an entryway, which is going to be similar sizing as this. This mailbox will go away, will go over there. There will be the underground viewing area here. So this will get closed off, I think. So people won't be able to get in there, but you'll be able to go under it, and that's where you'll see the underwater area whoa what is a tree monster how do you how do you tame this thing can you tame it whoa he looks freaky okay he's attacking me um kind of wanted to tame him chat shown okay what, what do we tame him with oh boy This thing, whatever it is, eats charcoal. Or coal lumps. I do have coal lumps. Wrong cage. Did that thing follow me? I doubt it. I run pretty fast with these boots. But where did he go? That's the question. Here we go. Hey, buddy. He's been tamed. Woohoo! What? But I tamed him! No. Lame. You silly weird beast. Man. Why would he go and kill himself? I fed him good food. Oh well. I think that tree monster went away. Well, there goes my opportunity to catch a new animal for this episode. Okay, then. I guess we won't add a new animal to the zoo. Be sure to tune in next time when we, uh, build, I don't know, build more enclosures, probably, I'm guessing. I don't know. Fight fearsome beasts? I don't know if we'll be fighting any fearsome beasts. But you won't know either unless you watch the next episode, so be sure to tune in. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube, 
you can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. A really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. It takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it record a review, post it online, you watch, we all profit, the world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.